Hey, 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 welcome back. Sacred Sage here, and I'm going to do a video about um, Animate 2. So I've been messing around with Animate 2, and there is quite a bit to it, but I will walk y'all through the stuff that I've been learning, basically dealing with making your own personal Annie blocks. As you can see right here, you can see the character looking down, looking left. That one is broken there. I have to remake that looking left one, but you can see the character's eyes going that way. So basically what this ends up doing <clears throat> is whatever you have your animation um, doing or whatever, perhaps they're sitting or, or running or whatever, right? You can add these to your animation without it even affecting your other animation. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But first, before you can do any of that, Animate 2, which as you can tell is very expensive, but you can find this on sale. I think ultimately when I finally decided to get this, which is only like a couple months ago, it was like 88% off. And then I used like my dad's membership to knock off another like eight bucks off of it. So I ended up getting it for like, I, I, I want to say like less than 10 bucks. So you can, uh, I, man, I think it was even less than that. But anyways, you can, you just wait for this thing to go on sale. That's, that's my recommendation. So, and then once you purchase it, you have to go through steps to, uh, install it basically. <clears throat> uh, so after you purchase it, you go into your accounts, it leads to this, you click on serial numbers and you'll get this, uh, window right here of stuff that you need serial numbers for and you just take this and you just copy that little bad boy right and then you go into Daz help is it registered Daz Studio or is it okay let's let's find out which one it is no, it's not that one. All right. About installed plugins. So you go to about install plugins and you can put in your serial number right there. Click OK. Then it should work. Might have to restart it. <clears throat> Anyways, that is how you get it installed. And then it'll show up as animate to get your timeline, then animate to. So if we take, and I'm going to walk you through the different ways of making your own antiblocks. So in this one, I am just going to take this and let's turn her head sideways like this, right? So that's what we're going to do. So that I don't feel like that should take 30 frames. So I'm just going to knock it down to 10 frames or 101 because I'll do a typo. So let's do 10 frames, just like that. And now go over here to the 10th frame, just like you're doing a regular animation. I'm going to go ahead and twist it like so. And then play it. You can kind of see how it does that in its head. So from this point, we go to animate two. So we'll have our character here selected. So let's go ahead and select her. And we can right click. And then there are some options here. Create any blocks from studio keyframes. So when you click on this, it's going to take the frames that we made in our timeline. Now. <clears throat> as I'm going to walk you through this because I had trouble with this. There's two different options. This one is a direct copy. So no matter what position your character is in, by the end of the Anna block, it will be the exact thing that you did. So let's say the character is sitting down in a chair and we do the Anna block for what we just did. By the time that Anna block finished, she'll be standing in the T pose with her head moving this way. That's what basically what that's going to do. So what we're going to do instead is transform two objects POV. Now this will only change what we changed. So only the head will move like this, right? So uh, that's that's uh, where I was messing up. I was doing direct copy rather than the transform because I wanted to kind of like uh, integrate it into an animation I was already doing prior. So you click on that. I tend to always click on morph values because uh, dealing with, I noticed like when I was dealing with the eyes, 
that some are morphs and some are translations and rotations. So it's just always, always safe to do a morph value, in my opinion. I've not ever came across a reason to where it's like, man, I wish I did not use that morph and values option, right? So I just always click on that. And then we are going to click done. It's going to do its little thinking. It's going to do its creating. There it is. Pops up right here. It's over right here. And then when you play it, the head will move. And it just keeps on playing on repeat. So that is working. So let's go ahead and rename it. So you can right click on it, rename. And I'm just going to name it whatever. Okay. Now click off. Now you see that it says whatever. <clears throat> So how do we save it? We just right click, save as new, and you can put it in the created anti blocks or an, uh, sorry, uh, animate. That's where all the other ones are at. I made my own created anti blocks. So I just, I put all mine in here and I'm just going to save it as whatever and you click save. So now we have our second model here, the whole purpose of having her. <clears throat> and you'll see the anti blocks down here. Uh, it won't show up. What you got to do is click out of it then click back into it now it's right here and you see the character is now moving her head so that's kind of like a little preview of what's to come so you can go ahead and just drag that over here and now it will be doing the same thing now they're both looking over to the side now i do want to stress and mention this is that if you have a character that's in a different pose let's say this character starts in a separate pose than what you did your animate block at <clears throat> and um, okay, let me let me see if it'll work. go ahead and delete this and let's put this character in another pose <clears throat> standing and we'll just go with something like Now, when you preview the the thing, oh, it didn't do it. Okay, so sometimes what you'll what will end up happening is you'll see other things shift that should not shift. Like uh, I had one model to where when I did the preview, the the elbow would would do something like this or be bending or whatever, but I didn't move any of that stuff. I don't know why it does that, but when you actually add it to the animation or the anti block here, it won't actually go into effect so i don't know about that i don't know why it does that but that took me a while to figure out too because i was like well let me just put this in here and play it anyways to see if it works and it was working just fine so um sometimes if it if it um if you see other stuff that you're not moving and it kind of moves don't don't worry about it um because it won't take into the actual animation but anyways i hope you guys found this useful if you did go ahead and hit that like and the follow button if you're not on rumble head over to my rumble channel and give it a follow as well i do uh, exclusive stuff over there uh put my gaming stuff over there as well got quite a few uh videos i try to release one a day over there and i also put all my 3d content over there as well so uh, and you might find some live streams over there i started trying to do like a live stream for 3d stuff but anyways hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care